It's time for Eric Plays. City Skylines 2. This person came to Sneaky Ridge Shoes just to uh, sit on the bench. I'm not sure why, but okay. Um, I'm going to stop following this person, though. Um, so I should be playing something else. I should be playing uh, Disco Elysium or something else that I want to do for fun. But I just can't help myself. I have plans for the city, things that I want to enact, things I want to do. Um, so here's our city. I'm going to take a little, nice little picture of it. Sunrise there. All right, or sunset maybe. Um, so we've got some high rent. I don't know if that's part of the high rent bug or not, but we've got some of it. We've got a lack of workers. Um, so. Um, one of the things I want to do is I want to build like a downtown um, community college. Um, that's something that happens pretty often. Ooh, I think, let's see, where's our nearest line? So here, yeah, people could walk here. All right, let's do a college, except we don't have the money. We're short by about half, so we'll come back to that. But that's something I want to do. We'll come back to it. Uh, we'll speed things up while we are waiting for that to happen. <laughs> The other thing I was thinking of doing is having a um, stadium here by the river, kind of like, uh, you know, the Brooklyn Cyclones. They have their stadium uh, right by the ocean. So let's see here. We'll go to parks. Oh, we already have large sports parks. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at how big those are considering how big everything is in this place so there's a football field a soccer field and a pool i think a football field maybe holy moly i don't think that fits anywhere along the river over here i guess yeah i guess we could put it not there that would be disruptive to that guy but maybe like right it's in the water maybe here it's not so much in the park anymore, but it is Riverside. I think we'll put it there. I think I think that'll be fun. All right, but I do think a pool makes sense here if it's not too huge. Okay, cool. So maybe we have. Do we do we want a pool along the water? Does that make sense on the river? I mean, it's not necessarily a river you'd go swimming in, so it might make sense. Let's kind of go like that. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it for now. For now, I am going to put some commercial. I'm actually I'm going to put commercial commercial ventral along here, 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 and here. All right, and that'll eat away at some of our demand there, which is good. Um, all right, we have a lot of demand for industrial going on, so let's come back to our industrial area over here. We've got a lot more space now, thanks to what we bought for for the um, um what you call it over here? Power power plant. That's the word I'm looking for. Power plant. All right. So, all right. Let's see. Let's have a little bit of a walking path right there. Right, and then we'll do industrial. Boom. <coughs> okay. That should eat away at that. Alright, we have a ton of demand for um single family homes, and that I was gonna develop in this new area here. Um we have a couple different grids that could meet up. Uh let's continue here first. Higher, and that's I certainly do. Okay. Uh, where's our nearest park? There's a park there. I think let's do, yeah, we'll do a city park, right? 
No, you know what? I think this probably belongs more downtown. So what we'll do is a, do a playground. No, something bigger, I think. A small park. We'll put one right there. All right, let's do our single family homes. And do a path first. Hmm. All right, let's go up one more block here. weird. Alright, do a pathway going across here. And we get all the single family homes. Alright, let's just evaluate where our connections are because we don't want to hamstring things too much. So we've got this coming off of the highway, our really bad park loop. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, and then we'll do one more block here. We'll cut across because these are pretty long. Okay. All the single family homes. Alright, so now we can work on these over here. These were across that way. Alright, so if we start, let's say, how long were these? These were seventy-two? Does that sound right? Seventy-two? Okay. We'll go oops. Oh that's too short, isn't it? Let's see. 104. Oops. Hundred and forty, okay. I don't know why I keep doing that by accident. And there's a highway over there, okay. So 140. Over. Perfect. What is overlapping here? Oh, a power line? Because this power line go. Oh, 
Oh, it's a freaking transformer right here. All right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So let's make this then. Let's see. Try to do our pathway first. Let's so go like that. Can't see. Okay, so we've got that going. And here, we've got to maybe go up a little bit. Okay. And then I think what we'll end up doing is we'll do some landscaping around it to kind of hide it a little. Let's go back to roads. Up. You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently... All right, so this would... We're joined today by an expert realistically nut butter. welcome professor so a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here right a program to like a right away on each side let's see ideological reward structures which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed for example consider capital right one, one final question professor is the housing shortage going to make let's see if i can have this go certain metrics perhaps yes in the short term i like the sound up of there we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and it's here on the human thank you professor it is a question of priorities interesting news from the city's export division sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with and you know what that means folks it means we're not cutting things close enough well, no, the point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. Where the heck does this link in? What's going on here? Oh, the freaking tree in the way, isn't it? Okay. 
Hey, we actually have office demand finally. So much for freaking landscaping. Let's see. I guess it's not necessary. Let's just get rid of it. All right, so let's rebuild this, I guess. I'm going to put commercial here. Let's see. Let's grab this. So I'm going to go up. And maybe a little tiny bit of office space. Maybe, maybe like an office right there. <laughs> let's see. I think... We'll just let this be like a little commercial area back here. All right, so that's that. Am I still underground? There we go. All right. Um. So, guessing all my office space over here has filled in. Then. Yes, looks like it has. All right. So. I think along here, where we have a, is that a stop? Nope, that's a traffic light. Ah, but we do have a stop here, so I think this is a perfect place where we would consider maybe upgrading um, larger, larger buildings. So, let's see, what if we went to zoning? and said that this could be high density zone. Okay. okay. We'll let that build there. All right, we don't, oh, we do have the money for the university now. So let's see, where were we gonna put that over here, I think? Sorry, not university, college. At the college. What do we have here? Is it overlapping with? Oh, the street's just not uh, at a perfect angle. All right, so we'll put that guy there. And the parking lot. Okay, perfect. So that should help out a lot. All right, I think we'll link up the road over here. At some point, we might want to cut across that island, but I think we'll let that happen when it happens. 
grab from here. All right, and then let's see, let's subdivide this. Where would it make sense? We'll go this way like this. Perfect. All right, so we will get a plaza. Oh boy, that's huge. Bigger than I thought it would be. All right, um, let's forget the plaza because we have that park there. All right, so we'll put some, these, oh, they do want to be here, okay. So we'll put this here. And let's see, we'll let one here. Um, Maybe some industry right there. Maybe we could have some low rent housing right there. One there. Let's see. If we have an apartment building here. And then a parking lot right here. Okay. Back here we would have more office space as well as there. Okay. We've got some stuff coming up there. Alright, so we might as well bring this road this way now. Provide some more connectivity. X. But I'll come this way. This can meet up there rather than making another weird intersection. Okay. So might as well over here. Let's see. Actually, let's do do stone. There, and we'll just go okay. expand this to here. thing in time um, here Ooh, we're a great town excellent all right um, let's go here let's drop a bunch of trees here okay So one of the things I want to do now, I was going to consider upgrading Main Street and getting some high density commercial, but since we have no desire for commercial at the moment, let's see, I want to find some other spots where the transportation is going as good targets for um, high density.
Right. So that takes care of that. Um. <laughs> All right. Light the sky, northern lights. Northern lights, okay. Um. All right, I wanted to add University what kind over of here. Does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. All right, so we're going to pop that on this, this side. Traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like Perfect. everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down, and if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'm all right, so we got that guy going. going. I have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. All right, let's take a look at this university. Ooh. Let's add a wing to this college. There we go. Right. Uh, let's see our high school. It's fine. It's elementary school. Could use an upgrade. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me look at all my elementary schools at the moment. Let's see. We've got one. Got a college here. Got that. All right. We've got an elementary school here. We've got an elementary school up here. Got one over here. Okay, looks like all the other ones are fine. Um, right. So, looks like we've got a lot of demand for hearses. So let's, we might, it might be time to make another crematorium. Uh, I'm going to make one. Let's see. Maybe... Maybe we need one back here, right off this main road, we can get to stuff more quickly. There we go, that should help a bit, except I need to move it a little bit so it's not blocking my creation of roads. Alright, cool. For some reason, that made the demand for offices disappear because people aren't being cremated anymore. I don't understand what that is all about. Okay. Or maybe these office buildings finally came to be They're little office buildings because we don't have high density offices yet. Okay. All right. So. see. So we go here to Main Street. This is two lanes in either direction. <laughs> Let's see what we've got for streets here. So on our we got a four lane road. Is what that is. If we went up here, we could have a six lane road. Do we want that for our main street, or is that just for like arterials and stuff like that? They need more customers. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Not entirely sure. But let's see, we still have plenty of demand for 
um, housing. Let's go turn this around. Let's finish the neighborhood we were doing over here. It was 140. Uh, might as well add more trees in here. Goes back there. All right, so let's do this. One one forty up. All right, let me turn off everything but ninety. One forty. And we'll do some row homes there and there. Now that these are about to collide. All right, let's definitely do another medical clinic. Here. here. All right, and now let's bring this out. 140. Over. Correctly. All right, let's bring this guy up. And let's, oops. Let's move this guy. Like that. I also want police station here. It'll fit. It does not fit. It'll fit here, and we do have to kind of do something funny with the roads anyway. So let's see. I think we'll do. We'll have this one. that. I'll have this one. Like that. Okay. And then... There we go. Alright. Um... Then I think let's have a path that goes up like that. Then in here, let's have a let's have some park amenities here. Let's have 
the dog park here. Playground there. Small park. Got a fuel plant. Okay. Here. Let's just fill the rest of this in with trees. We'll do this type of tree. Okay, and then we'll go back to pathways. Definitely go see something like that. Um, come over here. Um, definitely here. Have some office space here, here. Let's e-zone that. All right, cool. All right, um, all right, um, there's still a huge demand for housing. things I wanted to do was kind of make like a little suburban neighborhood right in here so let's figure that out look at all the parking all the way out to here huh. but uh it'd be a large parking lot here that might help a bit um some of that street parking all right um We're definitely going to want commercial around the stadium. You know what? I'll let there be some high density commercial here if it wants to show up, which it doesn't at the moment. Um, all right, let's keep going this way. All right, and then. We'll cut in right here. Got the highway coming there. All right, and then we'll go up maybe, maybe right parallel with this guy. All right, so let's have all of this be commercial. And on this side, we'll have um, apartments. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle, and we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. All right, so and I'm to our main feature story. I have an alleyway. Do I have an alleyway? Yeah, we'll do an alleyway. Right, so, go here. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. 
Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, if expect... I'm going to upgrade this because I want it to have sidewalks. There we go. Let's get rid of that. And we'll do a path. To the parking garage. Alright. On this side, we're going to do row houses. You know what? We can do some on this side too. All right, one last little bit here. We'll do commercial here and here. Then I'm gonna make my suburban neighborhood up here. Before I do that, I had wanted to see if I can get some high density commercial spring up. Let's see. I'm going to try right there. Mm, there quite isn't the demand that we need. All right. Um, Okay, let's see. I also think we could have some offices here on this block. Let's do that. A little office park with, let's see, maybe a plaza. from here. And it's going to be maybe in this, I think this would be the, probably the direction in which it would be built. Being like this. It's only one way in or out. And then within here, we'd kind of something Hang out to here and maybe All right. so 
this will be. And here would be at least one tree, a few. first because pads tend to screw everything up. Here's going to be all trees. There's going to be some amenities in here, like dog parks and stuff. Put a dog park. Let's see, there could be a dog park uh, there. Nope, that doesn't have any rooms. Right, so, let's see. Dog park. Small park there. Definitely might be some tennis courts. Alright, so back to adding some residents in here. I'll make some different size houses in here. street do these guys go to? I don't know. I feel like that's going to zone in and be like, we don't have a street. They just moved in. They're like, it's too expensive. Well, why'd you move in then? Dum dum. Alright, so there's that little old de sac area. Make another parallel here.
Let's see, let's go. Oof. Clinic. Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right. So, what was the special building we got? It was a fuel plant. How big is it? It's pretty big. Let's throw it over here. Does it fit? Doesn't fit because of what? What's blocking it? Oh, a fire department. All right. Well, what if we put it? Let's see, that seems kind of dumb. Let's expand the road out here. Excellent. All right, pick up on them again later. I had a feeling something was going to go all wrong here. What is this? this is our dog park? Should be okay now. There we go. Driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance to hear the music of yesteryear. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. And on to our main feature. All right, let's the see commercial here. The district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. Right, I'm going to put that some... for business and good for mm. the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Right. Good looking. All right. Right. Let's continue expanding downtown. Let's see, it's probably the one I made before. I believe it is. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. What if we said that one could be high density? That one could be high density. Again, near Metro Stop. Good place for that.
Essentially, there's no street parking available here. What if we upgraded the street? What do we have now? We've got... I think this is already what this is, right? That doesn't do anything. We don't want to make it bigger, but maybe not. Maybe not. All right, uh, but we maybe, 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 maybe need to have some eminent domain here. Make like a parking garage or something. Let's see. What does this take up? Holy moly, this is like insanely huge. Alright, uh, how about that one? Well, we can't pick it because we don't have it, but. Hmm. I still remember it being bigger than I wanted it to be. Let's see. Because it has like a... This... Space that it needs. Yeah. Just... It's way too big, is what it is. If we were to put it here... That would be... That would make sense for the park, would it? I don't think so, but what if we put a small parking garage because we're like, oh, I want people to come to the park and park? Park at the park? Put it right there. People like that. What was that I just had clicked on before? Hmm. Okay. Got these two buildings going up. All right. One more little bit, and we'll be done with this episode. Did we move in here yet? Still empty for some reason. Let's see, did these finally get built here? They did. far upgraded. That's pretty good. Okay. You don't like the high crime. 
high tax of the pollution. All right, well, maybe it's time to put another cop over here somewhere. Where's the nearest one? Okay. Then again, maybe just do a headquarters? How much is that? Two million. Let's go for a welfare office. All right, we're gonna figure out where to place this. Realistically, probably be somewhere. Here. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I think. Put big. Uh. I'm gonna put it out here near the university. Mm-hmm. Not right now. Traffic accident. Look at this cool bridge I made. Alright, um... Did that. think let's see let's go back over here to points get a police headquarters why not well why not is because money wise but uh hmm. all right what have we got here some space I think probably have candidates here for high density. So we're definitely gonna let's see if we can fit that parking structure here. The eminent domain the heck out of this. We would also have to change the street a little. Alright, so let's go to a small parking lot. I think we'll put a small parking lot here, but to make up for it, we're going to zone all of this as high density. Oh, and this one got messed up too. We'll let that one be high density. That's doing its thing. Put some trees over here.
I think people are finally happy with the healthcare. Alright, what did I end up doing with the police? Did I end up buying it? I didn't. That's okay. Alright, um... Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. Some offices here. ...public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. How delightful! Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself? Hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Oh, yes. Soul. A raison d'etre. Mmm, delicious. My sisters say whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cans. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere I want to try in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip, some European uh, you want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, tall buildings. You already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. All right, cool. That's doing its thing. Check our college over here. This is there we go. All right. Let's put some offices. No, we have offices there. Let's put some EU mixed housing here, here, and here. Very interesting setup we've got going here. Let's see. Maybe if we go to the water, but our skyline that's developing here. Following a car, I'm going to kind of like take you on a little tour here through our new downtown park area. There's our rich guy, our movie star. And here we come into the park.
have a little park exercise area. We come this way. Got this uh, plaza. Keep coming this way. some tennis courts again this will all look nicer once I have the line tool and I can uh... and here's our pedestrian bridge that gets us past the water here's a little playground area both for people visiting the park but also people who live at these high rises here we've got another park the park and here we are at the community college all right this has been our playing city skylines 2 i'll see you next time goodbye